or the paper setup. Hello, I am Max Montoya. And I am Alex Becerra. And, and we, we are, are our Book Talk, Talk anchors. anchors. Today we will be talking about a book called The New Year's Party by R.L. Stein. This is a great book, so we would give it a four and a half stars out of five. So let's start with this book talk. In the beginning, Jeremy gets humiliated at a New Year's Eve party. So him and his sister Beth take off in his old beat up Ford Fairlane. It is snowing and the roads are icy. Jeremy is so angry that he drives recklessly. He isn't paying attention to the road. So when a boy is walking by, Jeremy runs him over. They continue driving after they hit the boy. A few minutes later, Jeremy loses control and crashes. A group of kids go to Shady Side High named Rini, Rita, Ty, Sheen, and Artie. Two new teens join Shady Side halfway through the year. They are Liz and PJ. Liz bumps into Rini at Rini's locker and they become friends. Rini's friends also become friends with Liz and PJ. Artie was driving in Mark's car with Greta, Rini, and Sheen. They were driving and PJ ran a stop sign. PJ crashed into Artie once he ran the stop sign. All the people in Mark's car were okay, but PJ was knocked out for a couple of minutes. Rini's parents were on vacation, so she threw a Christmas party. They had planned a joke on PJ with a girl named Sandy. She was the hottest and most popular girl in school. Sandy asked PJ to the party. They showed up and started dancing. Sandy gave PJ a long, sizzling, hot kiss on the lips. Right after, she fell to the ground and pretended to be dead. PJ and had a heart murmur, so two minutes later, he passed out and did not wake up. Liz, PJ's sister, finds out her brother passes out at Rainey's party. PJ goes missing, so she wants to get revenge on Rainey and her friends. She looks for her first victim, Mark. She finds him and breaks his neck when he is alone. A few days later, she kidnaps Sandy at a restaurant. She breaks her neck as well and puts her face down in a trash can. Finally, Liz invites Rainey and her friends to a New Year's Eve party to finish the job. Are you tired of having fingerprints everywhere? Well, now you could change all that with our new and improved Red Birdie Gloves. Touch any surface, gloss, glass, or even a dusty table, and still nothing. All this for only $9.95. Sold at Target, Walmart, Kmart, and at your local liquor store. You can also order online at www.birdiegloves.org or call 1-800-438-8446 for an additional cost of $4.59 shipping and handling. We are with a heroic boy named PJ who is fighting heart disease. So PJ, what is it like to have heart disease? Well, it's very different <clears throat> than any other diseases. <clears throat> Just imagine having to take some medicine every 30 minutes of your life. <clears throat> you are a very brave little boy. Thank you very much. I just wish I could live my life like a normal boy and get to go to the park or roll in the mud or even play sports. Well, PJ, I don't think I'm the only one to say you're an inspiration for many people. If you would like to help PJ out, just call 1-800-951-9511 for a small donation. Again, that's 1-800-951-9511. For just $2 a day, you can save this boy's life and many others fighting heart disease. Do you want to be able to break someone's hand or even their neck? If so, come on down to Mr. Miyagi's Dojo, where you can learn a wide variety of fighting styles from Mr. Miyagi himself. Jiu Jitsu, Karate, Kickboxing and Muay Thai are all taught at Mr. Miyagi's Dojo. Don't think we don't have anything for the elderly. We offer yoga and meditating classes as well.
Start your 30-day free trial today. We are located at 22401 Skyline Drive in Fancy Nuevo, California, 92567. Contact us at 1-800-224-2001 or at www.mrmiyagidojo.com. Remember, once your 30-day free trial expires, you must pay $79.95 per month. Hello there, people of America. We're at, Ale at the famous Alex Becerra's house with Elizabeth. So, Elizabeth, what are some of your hobbies? I like to practice assassination tactics. So, what is your purpose in the book? I am a teenage girl that dies, then my spirit is trapped in the human world. Then teens humiliate my brother, so I decide to assassinate them. Well, that was very nice of you. Well, that's it for today, guys. See you next week on the Max and Alex Show.